Hi, I'd like to book a room for... Wait. Sit down. How rude. Did I say something wrong? Don't say verbs like wait or sit down directly to a native speaker because it's rude. To say wait in a more polite way, try these different phrases. You can say second or minute with any of them. Give me a minute. Hang on a second. I'll be with you in a minute. Take a seat for a minute. And to be more formal, try saying, would you mind waiting for a minute? Could you take a seat, please? Very old. Ancient. Very clear. Obvious. Very rich. Loaded. Very big. Huge. Massive. Enormous. Very angry. Furious. Very ugly. Hideous. Those dumb Brits don't say potato, so why they say tomato? British and American pronunciation can be very different. Let's look at some of the most common words that are pronounced differently. First one, if you're thirsty, you might want a glass of water. If you're from the northeast of England, you might say, Give a glass of water. An American would say, Hey, give me some water. Next, a type of metal. A British person would call it aluminium. An American would say aluminum. Next, if you're a scientist, you work in a laboratory, but an American would call it laboratory, but they might both call it a lab. Next, if you are in a sports team, you might reach the semi-final. An American would say, yo, come watch the game. It's the semi-final. And the famous one is tomato, tomato. Which one is British, which is American? No way can you say this sentence fast. Fetch fresh veg for Fred's French friends. Let's rewind and try that slowly. Fetch fresh veg for Fred's French friends. Let's try it normal speed again. Fetch fresh veg for Fred's French friends. Now let's try it fast. I bet you can't do it. Fetch fresh veg for Fred's French friends. Now let's try it super fast. Fetch fresh veg for Fred's French friends. Well done. Or unlucky. Try again. Now let's try it backwards. Snerf, 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 snerf. There are five ways to say you feel ill in English, which I do. I'm not feeling a hundred percent. I'm feeling under the weather. I'm a bit poorly. I'm feeling rough. I feel like you're having a laugh. Here are five ways to tell people that they are lying. Liar. The first one is, you're having a laugh. <laughs> Repeat after me. You're having a laugh. Secondly, you can say, you're pulling my leg. You're pulling my leg. Next, you can say, you're pulling the wool over my eyes. You're pulling the wool over my eyes. Next, you can also say, you must be joking. <laughs> you must be joking. And finally, if you're American, you might say, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. He drives me mad. Here are five ways to say you hate someone or something. It does my head in. What? Don't be stupid, he does my head in. I can't stand it. Uh. What? I can't stand you. It grinds my gears. No! It grinds my gears, man. No way. It boils my blood. Sick. What? That boils my blood. It drives me mad. Uh. He drives me mad. You all right, mate? Do you want to lay out speak scouts for three easy little steps? Uh, okay. First steps, just take the er uh and change it to air. If the coppers catch you and they say, We're arresting you on suspicion of murder. You might reply, You are murder. What about the cut sound? You need to make cut. <laughs> Only at the end or the middle of the words. So for example, Quick, Barry, it's kicking off, mate. And the r sound becomes a little brr. Barry, Quick, it's kicking off. Okay, great, thank you. Peter Piper saved up some money and splashed out on a beautiful new house. However, once he moved in, he realised he had been ripped off. The boiler had broken down, so he had to fork out for a new one, and the roof caved in during the first rainstorm. After running up lots of debt on his credit card to sort the repairs out, he struggled to pay it off and eventually was kicked out of his house by his creditors. Fortunately, Peter came into some more money after winning big at the casino, 
but then he threw it all away on fast cars and fast food. This means to have to spend money on a surprising expense. This means to spend a lot of money that you borrowed from somebody else. This means to charge somebody too much for something. This means to keep some money from your salary for the future. This means to spend big on something you really want. This means to receive money that you didn't expect to receive. Here are some ways you can use get in your English today. The first one is to get caught, which means you've done something bad. This could be a crime or it could be like a child doing something their parents don't want them to do. And it means that somebody in authority has noticed what you're doing and you might be punished. Second one is to get away with it, which is the opposite of get caught. That means nobody found what you were doing and you did not get punished. The third one is to get lost. This is a very rude way to say, go away. And the last one is to get ahead in life usually. And this means to do things like save up some money, buy a house, generally do things that are good for your career or life. Let's take our English learning to the next level. Here are five basic English phrases and five more advanced ways to say them. How are you? How's it going? What do you like to do in your free time? What do you get up to in your free time? What do you do for work? What do you do for a living? How was your day? How's your day been so far? Can I help you? How can I be of assistance?